Hey, my name is Lance, and I'm going to show you how to build this hydraulic bridge project. The lifting mechanism is pretty easy to build, and the bridge that's constructed on top can be customized. Okay, let's begin. First, build a rectangle that's about three craft sticks long. It can be longer if you want, but this is a good place to start. Next, glue on eight craft cubes. Four go in the corners, and then the other four are spaced an inch or two apart from the first ones. Then, create two identical support structures. This is what's actually going to hold up the bridge. It should look something like this. On one side, connect the support structures with two more craft cubes and a stick. On the other end, create a hinge using these four cubes with holes and a 1 8 inch dowel that's been cut to be about as long as a craft stick. Now, create the frame for the underside of the bridge. One important thing to note is that the bridge is probably going to be narrower than the rest of the structure. This is because the bridge needs to be built on the innermost hinge cubes. Now to create the hydraulic system. The first step is to fill a syringe with water. Then connect an 18 inch long piece of vinyl tubing onto the nozzle, then push water through it to remove all the air. With the tubing in the water, fill the syringe back up to 10 milliliters, and then connect another empty syringe. Try it out and make sure it's working. For this next step, you can glue on a wooden cube with a hole, but I've discovered I prefer these syringe adapters that I found online. These don't break off and it helps the hydraulic machine work more reliably. To attach the hydraulics to the bridge, first glue on a cube with holes under the hinge. Next, use a cable tie to strap the nozzle of the syringe that has the adapter to the cube. Next, glue a craft stick to the middle of the bridge frame and then Tie the adapter to it using another cable tie. Test it out. The bridge should be able to raise about this high. The final step is just to build the bridge itself. I'm not going to go into too much detail about how to build this because in this project the bridge is largely just an embellishment. If you want to build a bridge that's designed to hold weight, you should check out my other truss bridge project. There's a link in the description. The key to building a convincing looking truss bridge is just to use a regular triangular pattern and be sure to use craft cubes to hold up the sticks. So the project is done. Now, if you're wondering why I put water in the syringes instead of air, you should definitely check out my other video, the Easy Hydraulic Machine. In that video, you'll see why compressed water is way more efficient at transferring force than compressed air. Go check it out if you're curious. So one more tip. Um, if you're doing this project with kids and you want to have a testable moment and maybe some more learning opportunities, you can build and test just the truss bridge first and then add this onto the hydraulic lift mechanism. I have a whole lesson plan dedicated to just the truss bridge, so if you're interested, take a look. I'll include a link in the description. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.